Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial of Ramses Admin 102. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share at the end of the video if you think the tutorial is helpful. This will be my uh, first video for the penetration testing lab series. So if you're interested in setting a penetration testing lab on Apple Silicon chip, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, in today's video, I will show you how to install Kali Linux ARM on Apple Silicon using a uh, UTM uh, and for this tutorial we will be using the native QEMUs instead of using Apple virtualization so the different uh, QEMU give you a lot, uh, a lot more advanced option compared to Apple virtualization hopefully in future Apple virtualization will have more advanced option but as of right now it lack of uh, advanced network uh, settings which uh, QEMU uh, does so the reason why you would need uh, at these advanced settings is just allow you to uh, set up like a lab for testing purposes. It uh, you able to twist this so that uh, you know it uh, you and you can enable like host only. So this uh, will help you out for like setting up like penetration testing lab. And with that, let's get started. So first, we need to create a new uh, virtual machine. And we're gonna select uh, virtual light, and obviously it's gonna be Linux. And we're gonna select the ISO. And once you select the ISO, we gonna click uh, continue. Make sure that you not uh, check the uh, use Apple virtualizations because we're gonna use the native uh, QAMU. All right, I'm gonna keep at default settings, but you can twist this to whatever applicable and what your system is capable of. And for storage, again, I'm gonna keep at default setting. Share directory, you can assign a share directory patch right now, or you can do it later on in post installations. All right. And we can change the name. And we're going to select open the VM settings because we have to um, do some work around because the display during uh, installation it doesn't work and it's going to give you the black screen. All right, so I'm going to save it. And if you click on the icon, you can select uh, all the review icon. I'm gonna select the Kali Linux. I'm gonna go down to the devices, and we're gonna select add a new one. Where we're gonna add a serial, and we're gonna step it. All right, and now let's uh, start the virtual machine. All right, so not notice that you have uh, two display. One at the virtual device and the other one at the terminal. So we're gonna be using the terminal one, and we're gonna select uh, the Refix install. Select uh, the language. I'm gonna keep it default English. Same thing. Select your country. I'm gonna keep it the US. And select your key map for your keyboard. I'm gonna select American English. All right. From here, you can. Uh, Create your host name, or if you press uh, tab and enter to keep the default Kali host name. And same thing, you can uh, put, input your domain name, or if not, just click uh, tab and then uh, enter to continue. And then full name for your username. And once you're done, click tab and enter to continue. You can accept the system generated username, or you can change this. Once you've done that, click tap and click enter all right and you're gonna create a new password and tap tap enter to continue and one more time and tap tap enter to continue you can select uh, your the closest time zone to you or um, just select the default one and uh, you can update it later in the setting and i'm gonna select the default option for the guided uh, use entire disk and it's up to you or whatever option you would like to use and obviously we only have one so 
in enter one more time and for new users uh, it's recommended to keep the default options however you have the uh, the other option if you wanted it to and click enter to continue and enter to finish and select tab select yes and enter and now it's going to install the uh, system all right when it, when it done that um, you can select the different desktop environment uh, i do like the uh, xfce the which is the kali uh, default desktop environment however the choice is yours now uh, when you're done uh, making your selection click tab and enter to continue all right now that the installation is finished instead of uh, reboot we're gonna shut down the vm instead so i'm gonna select the shut down and stop the vm and okay all right now that we have kali linux installed uh, we're gonna go to uh, settings and then we're going to remove the serial and then select uh, set then next you're going to go down and under the cd dvd we're going to clear out the iso and from here the share directory you can uh, select a share directory if you haven't done so that, that's an option and let's turn on the vm and press enter all right and log in with your username and password all right so now in order for you to um, enable the clipboard sharing we have to install the spy agents so in order to do that you want to run the command sudo app actually let me make the terminal a little bit uh, bigger so it's easier for you to see all right so we're gonna do the sudo app update all right, and next we're gonna do the sudo app install spy dash vd agent and enter. All right, and we're gonna reboot for it to take effect. I'm gonna lock back in. All right, now that we have the clipboard sharing enabled, the next step I must show you how to mail a share directory. So first we're gonna create a new directory called share. So you can do that using the make dirt command. All right, and now we have a share folder. And next you can refer to my written tutorial. So you can copy the command, make it easier. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the command and the link for the tutorial is going to be down in the description all right and we're going to modify the mount point so for linux terminal in order to paste the command you will select Control shift and v all right and we're going to change it to home see the admin 102 and there's going to be a share and enter all right and there we go you have a share folder so typically uh because i have Kali other vm with kali linux already installed on the system so i didn't get the permission uh, error however if you encounter that um, you would enter the next command that will fix the permission issue or access deny and there we go and next i'm going to show you so this is just temporarily mounted the um, directory every time you reboot it's going to uh, unmount the directory the next uh, step i'm going to show you how to permanently mount that shared directory so after you boot it automatically mount all right so first thing we need to unmount the current shared directory so we can continue to the next step and after that we're gonna using the sudo nano command to edit the fs tab file i'm gonna go to the last line and then we're gonna copy the following uh, line 
and we're going to paste it in here and we're going to modify the mount point so it's going to be home sysadmin102 and share uh -oh. ed there we go and you would press control x y for yes and enter to save the file and after that you would have to reboot the system for it to take effect so now the system restarted uh, we're going to log back in all right and notice that the share directory it automatically mail and that concluded uh, today's tutorial so this will be my first video for the penetration testing lab series video uh, if you are interested in setting penetration testing lab on uh, apple arm uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share so that's where uh, you get notified with the new video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye